G'day, I'm Jed Claris. We're in remote location today, cooking up some mangrove jack. Um, just whole. Uh, we call it makan tangan. Means eat with your hands. Um, and yeah, so it's a pretty simple recipe, but it's one of our favourites. So yeah, I guess we'll get into it. Um, yeah, so shot this one um, just out the front of camp. These are perfect eating size for these guys. And um, yeah, went down to shoot a trout actually. And this guy, they love to live in the caves and uh, hide out in there. So saw just a silhouette come through and thought I'd, yeah, take a shot. And here we are, dinner's sorted. <laughs> Bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna get it right into here. Same on the other side. Yeah, that's all we pretty much need to do before we get the oil cranking. So we'll do that now. Not a fair bit, makes it easier. Gas on, gas is on. It's a bit windy, so see how this goes. You want it really hot. And then when that goes in, we'll cut up the uh, onions and garlic. And yeah, go from there. <laughs> All right, I was getting hot pretty quick, which is good. Get ready to um, drop this guy in, then we'll cut up the onions, yeah, and garlic. I've got tongs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. I can make some stick tongs. Authentic island tongs. That's all you need. Check if this oil is hot enough, eh? Not quite. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to drop this in. Just slide it in. I'll have to do it in two little segments. So pretty much just kind of vibe it out, keep checking it, making sure that it's not overcooking. Um, but you still want a bit of crispy skin, which um, yeah, adds to the flavor and all that, so it's really good. Now we shot a couple of jobbies today though. That was good. Been um, eyeing those a good one of those off for a while so it was yeah awesome to shoot that just really want that cooked evenly kind of make sure you don't forget anywhere yeah, that's starting to look pretty good that flesh is starting to cook all the way through that's that's again where why we score it all the way to the bone so we can cook it quickly all the way through because they're pretty thick thick fillets on these fish like this is a smaller one but you can still to get that crispy skin and cook all the way through without overcooking it is um, it's always the challenge <laughs> um, yeah so just looking for that crispy skin and um, the flesh to be white all the way through so an easy way to check that is you can just cut into it a bit and that'll give you a tell so this needs a little bit longer on that side. But yeah, just white flesh is the main thing that you're looking for. And yeah, actually, if it looks tasty, it is tasty. It's probably the easiest way to put it. <laughs> oh, that cheek. The cheek of the fish, one of the best spots. Often forgot about. Try to do this without it all falling apart. Oh, starting to come along. Flip it back over one more time without destroying it. You want the tail to get crispy as well. The fins are really nice. I like chips. All right, wait a little bit longer. Shouldn't be far off. Probably should do the onion. Oh! <laughs> oh my 
This can wait for one second. Wow. How good is that? <laughs> every afternoon we get treated with these and it gets better every, every day, I reckon. Ow! That's hot. That's close to being done though. Mm -hmm. Very close. Just rough cut the onion. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Ow. All right. I reckon that's just about done. And then we'll throw the onions and garlic in. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. I'm gonna try and do this without ripping the head off. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no, we can reconstruct that, that's all right. The head ripped off. Oh no. All right. It's kind of all falling apart on us here, but that's all right. The tail's still intact. Oh, yep. We'll chuck the onions in, get those going. I don't know how we're going to get these out. <laughs> Onion and garlic. Oh, in there. the last little bits, but before that, let's try these. That's pretty good. Yep, it's good. <laughs> it's so fresh fish, I don't think anything really compares to it. It's just Super tender, super fresh, sweet, nice. Yeah, and then the flesh is unreal, but then when you can eat all the fins and everything as well, nothing gets wasted on the fish. And it all tastes really good. And, geez, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, again, you don't want to overcook the onions. Um, don't need them crispy or anything like that. You just get them to soak up all the flavors from the fish. Um, and then we'll chuck it all in together on top of each other and go for gold. All right, so the onions are good to go. We'll chuck those straight onto the fish. All right. I think that's looking about bloody good. All right, splash of that. And then we'll hit it with some salt, pepper, and lime. Bit of pepper. Put the lids back on things. Always helps. Good hunk of lime. Or lemon, or whatever the... Whatever your choice is, get all that lime out. <laughs> and then you've got mangrove jack cooked on the beach. Shot probably an hour ago. Can't get fresher than this. You just have a, have a bite of that. That's really good. <laughs> All right, I think that'll about do us for today. Um, Jed Claris, hope you've enjoyed that little video. I highly recommend giving it a giving it a go if you've got a, got some nice whole fish around. Um, yeah, it's 
been Unreal. Thanks for watching again. See you next time. <laughs>